space where a lot of it's definitely different from fame, as, as you can imagine. But it's very close to home, you know. She's a young girl who wants to go to school, make a difference. She wants to change her, her environment. She's got big dreams as well. And I think Stacey's the girl that keeps Val's character grounded. When he wins all the money, she's the girl that's like, don't go spending all your money. Save it. Do something for the community. She's got reasoning and she's got a good heart. And I love playing Stacey. It was a lot of fun. What's your favorite part from transitioning from singing in Broadway yeah. to the silver screen? Wow, I love singing and being on Broadway and Hairspray was the most fun and it's definitely different. You know, doing film you have to be, you know, more c controlled and the camera's like up in your face. When I'm on stage, I'm like, ah! like, you know, it's very big and showy. So I definitely see the difference, but I love both. It's hard to choose which I'd rather do. That's great. Now I understand that you used to, you've known Bow Wow for a long time. Years and since we were like kids. So you've played hide and seek together right here? Oh my gosh, that story is like going all around. <laughs> yes, I have. We we used to like tour together back in the day when we were teenagers in Europe. We did like a lot of tour dates and we have like had some fun just you know being kids and it's fun. That's great. And what's the best part about working with acting with Bow Wow now? The best part is that you know we're both mature, he's focused, he's ready to get get it done, he comes work ready and excited about working and that he's just as humble as you know as he could be you know with all his success and having such a long career he's been able to stay grounded and that's something that's that's always good for me. That's great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi Victoria. How are you? How are you? Good. Yeah, here with Big Mom. Yeah. I just want to know yeah. what was your character and what does she bring to the movie? My character? Yes. My character is Stacy and my character brings that that voice of reason aspect, she's, you know, she's very grounded in, you know, her values. She wants to do the right thing. She wants to change, you know, the neighborhood. And she cares about her friends and she's in love with, you know, Kevin. And I think Stacy is just that girl that's the home girl. She's, she's just real. And a lot of times, you know, it's hard being just that, you know, good girl. But that's who she is and she eventually gets the guy and she gets, you know, what she wants. Does her character make a difference in the movie or you think that she has a relevant I think, part? I think for sure. I mean, her character makes a difference because she has a huge influence on Bow Wow's character, Kevin. So, the relationship that me, Benny, which is played by Brandon, and Bow Wow's character, we all are connected and a lot of, a lot of what I do and what we do together it can affect the story, for sure. So how are you loving being in the spotlight, loving making movies and film? How's it going for you outside of being in the music industry? Oh, it, it, it has been amazing. I'm so blessed. I cannot complain. I am happy. You know, I got this movie, lottery ticket, and I've been working in the entertainment business as a singer since I was 15. And to be able to have longevity and to still be doing what I love, I'm very happy. Let me ask you, is there, is there a, an actress that you would like to maybe pattern your career after? Because uh, you have you have a leading role here very yes, early I do, in your life, I do, so. and I was starring in Notorious and Fame, and I've been very fortunate, but people like Angela Bassett inspire me, people like Viola Davis, people like Jada Pinkett Smith. Um, growing up, it, it wasn't a lot of, you know, young black talent that were given the opportunity to do this and for me to be paving the way and to continue with the, the next generation means something to me. So I, I definitely, I definitely am in, in, inspired by other actors for sure. Oh, I'm always going to be, yeah, hopefully working in music. I love to sing. I'm hoping to get back to the stage. I want to do Broadway again. I was doing Broadway for a couple of years. And I, I'm excited to see what's to come, but music is in my heart, so it's not going anywhere. <laughs> And living out a dream and having a lot of money. And I think that anytime you have that type of power, of course, it opens doors for a lot of people who want to be close to you, they want to do business with you. But, uh, you know, in real life, man, you just got to keep your circle very close and very tight. That's something I was just telling my, my boys while I was in the car. I'm like, yo, man, things are getting crazy for us right now. You know, I'm, I'm the leader of the crew. And uh, just understand, man, it's, it's happening so fast. Like, you guys do not believe. I mean, just, the, just the, the, the energy coming from this room alone is. It's overwhelming, man. Like it really is, and I haven't felt like this in a long time. And now I'm, I just started today with my first day on Tyler Perry's new film, um, Medea's Big Happy Family. So I just got wrapped from set, coming straight over here. So I'm filming the movie while promoting one. I can't, I can't complain at all. Wow. And what is the most challenging part about acting for you? The most challenging part about acting is, um, I guess, just the pressure of remembering your lines. I think that's. An actor's and an actress' first thing is to remember your lines, and how I do mine is I always tell myself you have no choice, and 
and, and when I tell myself you have no choice but to do it, you sign the contract, you got to show up, I show up every time. <laughs> She's got two. Okay, so I've been a fan of yours for a long time, and I grew up in Atlanta listening okay. and loving your music. And what I wanted to know is, how has um, growing up in Atlanta helped your career? Uh, it's helped me out a lot. Of it. You know, it, it opened up a lot of doors for myself. I was able to meet Jermaine Dupree, who was a uh, local here and a legendary producer. He was here tonight, and uh, you know, and he, he was my producer. He gave me my start, and I just carried out whole entire tours. And uh, you know, I credit him for everything that I've done thus far in my career. And even though you know we might not work together a lot, but he still plays an important role in my life, my career, and that's why he's here supporting me tonight. And I'm just happy to have you know all my love. Wonderful. Well, given all of your success, what advice would you give to others for saying their dreams? Stay humble, stay blessed, believe in yourself, set a goal, go for it. Don't let nobody tell you that you can because you always can.